Hi, I'd like to thank you for joining our session today for Oracle iStore, What's in Your Shopping Cart? Um, I'm Bob Carini, the Director of Product Management for iStore. And what I wanted to do today was um, cover some of the new features and functionality that you can find in iStore. And our agenda is uh, pretty, pretty full. What we'll do is we'll cover uh, some of the new user experience within iStore. We'll discuss new features, um, integrations, and we'll also have a look at the product roadmap that we have in store uh, for iStore, as well as giving you some pointers where you can get additional information. Um, the one thing I'd like to cover first, though, is that a lot of our iStore customers are upgrading from 11.5.10 to R12. Uh, thus, what we did in uh, R12 is we improved the user experience. So if you're coming from 11.5.10 to R12 of iStore, you'll notice a very big difference in the way the user interface has been structured. We focused on making the checkout process very streamlined. We cut down on the number of tabs um, in 11.5.10, uh, and we moved over to an action drop-down menu that allows you to instantly go to um, the various areas within iStore without having to tab and navigate through a series of screens. It's much easier now with R12 of iStore to go directly to areas such as direct item entry um, or request help or, or even navigate to the shopping cart and shopping lists. So uh, this was a major improvement over our user interface for iStore and um, it just makes the checkout process and the purchasing uh, flow much easier for our end customers. Along with the action item drop-down menu, uh, we focused on both the B2B, business to business, and B2C, business to consumer methods of going through the checkout process. So you'll notice at the top of the screen, we have a train which guides the end user through the various stages in order to put items into their shopping cart and check out. And along the lines of B2B, we also improved the business to consumer method as well. Uh, again, the focus was streamlining the process of putting items into your shopping cart and being able to place an order in a very easy to use paradigm. So these are just two areas where we focused on the user interface improvements from 11.5.10 to R12. But we also focused on other areas as well. For instance, um, we're able to condense and consolidate a lot of the various screens um, to be able to do multiple billing and shipping on one single page uh, where we can co collapse and expand uh, address information, billing information, so on and so forth. Again, the focus was to improve the user experience cut down the number of steps it takes in order to go through your shopping process and be able to streamline uh, the, uh, the iStore interface. We uh, have a facility in iStore which most of our customers take advantage of called Order Tracker. And what that allows you to do is after you place an order, you can come back into iStore and you can look at the orders that you have placed. Um, basically, you can look at the historical orders. And we expanded that particular facility from 11.5.10 to R12 to include more capabilities, such that you can look at invoices, you can look at uh, the different payments that you've put into place. Um, we've expanded the search capability within Order Tracker, and also you can perform uh, returns. So you can have a, an RMA process, which is self-service, right here within iStore. Again, we focused on the, uh, the end user interface to make it uh, much more usable in R12. Now let's talk about some of the new features you can find in iStore in R12. So uh, we listened to our customers. Um, we listened to the feedback that we got from analysts. We looked at what uh, other e-commerce solutions provide to their customers. And uh, we put in quite a bit between uh, 11.5.10 and R12. Um, I'm just going to highlight a, a few of these new features uh, to give you an idea of what you can uptake as you 
uh, migrate from 11.5.10 to R12. For instance, um, we had our customers say, you know, uh, it would be great if I could place an order on behalf of one customer or another customer um, without having to have a different login per customer. So we came up with a facility called multi-customer access and this is available as a profile option in R12. Uh, you turn the profile option on and what it'll allow you to do is switch between customers. Uh, and right now in 11.5.10, you're able to switch between the accounts within a particular customer. Now with R12, with multi-customer access, you can switch not only the accounts, but the parties or the customers such that you can go in and um, overlap with other sales reps and be able to have visibility to orders and or order history uh, as, a, as a different customer. Um, this was a huge improvement uh, in iStore and customers voted on, on this particular feature uh, very highly. Um, so it's available today in R12 and uh, most of our customers are, so are very happy to have this capability. Another thing we focused on in R12, as we've mentioned about usability and navigation, we also um, wanted to make the uh, process of putting items and finding items in your, into your cart much easier. And what we did was we introduced uh, a new feature called Add to Cart Navigation. Again, this is um, invoked by a profile option. And what this does is it allows you to stay on the same page as you're putting items into your shopping cart. Um, currently in 11.5.10, as you add to cart, you're jumping back and forth between the product catalog pages and the shopping cart. So every time you add something to your cart, you get navigated over to the shopping cart itself. And customers found that a bit cumbersome. They said, you know, I should be able to stay on the same page and retain the same context and not have to be forced to navigate into my shopping cart every time I click the Add to Cart button. So we added a new profile option. And what that profile option does is if you have it set on and you click an item and you say add it to my shopping cart, you'll remain on the same page. You'll get confirmation that that item has been put into your shopping cart and your shopping cart total in the welcome bin will automatically change. So you're not forced to have to navigate from screen to screen to screen. Um, you can stay on the same page and not lose any context. We also made improvements to our direct item entry uh, facility, and this is where you can uh, have a screen if you know the products, rather than having to browse the catalog or do a search, you can directly type in the product information, or you can also upload a CSV file and have that go into this and populate this particular screen. And um, we supported customer numbers a while back um, but we had requests from uh, v a various number of customers to say, well, you know, it's uh, very difficult sometimes to have to remember what the merchant sets up in their inventory uh, item master and have to remember those cryptic types of uh, numbers or part numbers. It would be easier if I could go in and put in my own familiar part number and have it automatically translate into the merchant's internal part number. So we added that uh, particular feature in direct item entry um, such that uh, customers who have their own familiar part number uh, can, can add it at any point in time. So not only do we support the merchant part number, but the customer's num uh, number and also a cross-reference number. And all of these actually get sent over to order management uh, when you click the place order button. So we retain all of that information, pass it over to order management, and we have the, the history on uh, what type of uh, information you put in through direct item entry. We also uh, heard from our customers about um, handling credit cards and payment options. Um, and in 11.5.10, there is a, uh, an option to have something called a payment book. And what you do is you set up um, a additional information about how you want to pay for your purchases. And we had one customer, um, school, school specialty, uh, say, well, you know, we, we, we don't want to have that capability turned on at all. We want customers, as they're going through the checkout process, to put in their credit card information 
or to put in the information versus it being uh, referenced or, or stored um, as a reference within iStore and payments. Um, so again, another profile option was introduced. And what that allows you to do is if you don't want to have your customers using a payment book, you can shut that facility off uh, and they won't have that when they uh, look at their uh, profile. Um, so again, this was something we heard from our customers. Uh, we put in a profile option and we disabled it. Um, and that again is available in R12 today. Along the lines of being able to put things into your shopping cart and make the process much easier, um, we also have the concept of shopping lists. This is kind of like your favorites list, things that you may order over and over again, and you may want to organize them by holiday, uh, whether it be you know, things that I want for uh, uh, a wish list or a, uh, a wedding list or what have you. Um, we have that facility in iStore in 11.5.10, However, it is a bit cumbersome to use because you have to go through a number of steps in order to get products that you may have in your uh, catalog or in your shopping cart into a list. And again, it was navigating from screen to screen to screen, having to build the lists, and it just was not a streamlined um, <coughs> user interface. So what we did was we came up with uh, a concept of called one-click shopping list management. And what this is, again, another profile option we put into place. It allows you to add products from the product catalog page, as you see here, directly into a shopping list that already exists, or you can create a shopping list on the fly and add the item to that shopping list. Again, this is a huge improvement for our customers that use shopping lists as a frequently used type of uh, mechanism for putting products uh, into their shopping cart on a periodic basis. Uh, and again, this is available in R12. Uh, another request that we got from our customers, um, we have the ability to um, show uh, additional information or product detail information when you're on the product catalog page. So as you see here, uh, here's a list of uh, televisions. And I have the ability to click on the hyperlink name of any one of these televisions. And what that does is that navigates me to another page which will give me further detail about the particular television that I have uh, you know, in mind to purchase. And customer said, again, we don't want to have to go from page to page to page. Can we do something where we can see the details directly on the product catalog page itself without having to navigate anywhere? So again, we introduced another profile option. Uh, and uh, what it does is if you have it set on, uh, a small icon will appear next to your Add to Cart button um, for the various products. And clicking on that will give you a pop-up dialog that will show you the detail based on that particular product. And the nice thing about this is it's extendable. So you can add additional XML information per product and have that show up outside of what you normally get from inventory. It'll show up in this pop-up dialog box. So again, we focused on the, inter inter <coughs> the user interface uh, from going from 11.5.10 to R12, making certain that we could streamline a lot of the functions that normally have you have to go from page to page. And again, this is available in R12. And I think one of the biggest enhancements we made uh, was product comparison. And most e-commerce products allow you to put products side by side and kind of rate them and rank them and look at their attributes. Um, and that was missing from iStore in 11.5.10. Um, we heard this from our customers, we heard it from our analysts, we heard it from our sales guys, and they said, you know, Bob, it'd be great if we could do product comparison like these other vendors can do. So uh, we went ahead and we put in a product comparison feature that allows you to click on uh, checkboxes next to the products that you, you want to put side by side, and then click on a compare button. And what that'll do is that'll bring you in a facility, into a facility uh, that's very robust. Uh, we worked on the UI on this quite a bit, um, such that it has drag and drop capabilities. I can hide columns, I can show columns, I can reorder columns. Um, and the other thing, too, is you can add additional tables of information, again, using XML, and by extending the products to include attributes that you may not find in inventory. So you may have... Um, data in um, 
in PLM or um, uh, you know, a, a, a product catalog that you may want to bring in. And so if you create the XML, you can display it here in the product comparison page and dynamically change the view uh, without any coding. So it's all data driven, which is great. And we showed this to our, our customers and they said, this is, this is great, We've, we use it all the time. And again, this is available in R12. So what you're seeing here is you're seeing a lot of new features uh, that uh, aren't available in 11.5.10. And the purpose of, of this pr presentation was to, to give our customers kind of an, uh, an awareness of what they can uptake when they move from 11.5.10 to R12. Uh, one other feature that uh, is brand new in R12 is the ability to look at products in a carousel view. Um, typically, when you're looking at products in 11.5.10 of iStore and you have a very, very long list, you're scrolling from page to page to page up and down. Um, and uh, customers said, you know, can we do something like ap Apple does? I mean, Apple has, uh, has a, a very nice interface when you're looking at uh, their, their store. And we said, yeah, we can, we can put that into place. So um, what we did was we looked at uh, what Fusion has been offering customers with their new user interface. And we're able to uptake Fusion components written in Application Development Framework, ADF, and use those directly in iStore. So we can embed Fusion technology, and th this is an example of doing so, directly in iStore um, without having to do any uh, additional maintenance or coding. So um, this was kind of a breakthrough for us because we were the first EBS application to be able to uptake and embed Fusion technology into our tech stack. Uh, and another new facility that's available today um, in R12.2 um, is the ability to have 24 by 7 coverage with your iStore. Uh, this is a huge, huge win for us because, uh, face it, when you take your, your store down for maintenance, whether it's the database that needs maintenance, or the application needs to be patched or ma maintained, you're losing revenue. Um, you're not able to take orders. You know, and customers uh, were frustrated with that. They said, you know, we can't have uh, downtime. We have to be able to take orders, uh, and even, even when our applications go into maintenance. So uh, new in 12.2, uh, and again, this is available not only for iStore, but all EBS applications, is uh, near zero downtime available availability. And what this gives you now is the ability to um, bring your production system offline, yet still continue to take orders and batch them up. And then when your s production system comes back online, uh, what we do is we queue up uh, all of those transactions and we push them over um, to the production system. Um, so uh, end users who are using iStore don't even know that the main production system is down. They continue to use iStore seamlessly and they're able to place orders um, and look at orders and do this in a real-time fashion. So again, this is a huge win for any e-commerce application uh, on the market today. And we're lucky that we are able to take advantage of this particular feature in R12 for iStore. Uh, one of the major things that our customers um, like about iStore is the out-of-the-box integration with the other EBS modules. Most companies uh, give you a standalone e-commerce application, and then it's up to you to write the hooks or the, uh, the integrations between your e-commerce system and legacy systems or back-end systems. And with iStore, all of this comes straight out of the box. Um, so if you take a look at the existing integrations here, we added quite a few more in R12. For instance, uh, we added uh, contracts, and we also added procurement. And let me just cover these two real briefly, but you'll notice the list here is pretty extensive. And again, as I mentioned, all of this integration comes out of the box without any additional coding. So we're a very tightly integrated package for e-commerce and the other EBS suite of modules. So let's talk a little bit about contracts. Um, when you're going through the checkout process, you, ha you now have the ability to look at terms and conditions uh, on your co contract information and bring that directly into iStore. So for instance, if you're purchasing a certain product and it has stipulations, 
Uh, what you can then do is show those stipulations that are contractually uh, binding within the checkout process itself. Um, you also have the ability to agree or disagree with these particular terms and conditions. And if you agree, great, you move on to the next stage of the checkout process. If you disagree, then what we'll do is we'll capture the reason why and we'll have you interact with a salesperson to maybe work through, you know, is it a discount issue, is it a return issue, um, whatever the contract term is that, uh, you know, you're not, you're not really wanting to sign up for. So we do have that interaction. And again, that's available today in R12. I also mentioned procurement. And uh, a lot of customers basically want the ability to set up their iStore catalog and have additional applications punch in to iStore, uh, be able to select the products, put them in the shopping cart, and then punch out back to the procurement system in order to do a requisition. Um, so new in R12 of iStore was the integration not only to iProcurement, which is uh, an EBS module, but also if you have a third party system, um, we, we use CXML, which is a standard protocol um, such that uh, you could call uh, a different uh, third party application, punch into iStore, browse the catalog, put items in the shopping cart, and then punch back to that calling application. So again, these are just two uh, areas of integrations along with the other whole host of integrations uh, that our customers uh, are, are uptaking as they migrate from 11.5.10 to R12. So where are we going with iStore? Um, you know, a lot of people um, have asked for uh, a number of enhancements. Um, and, um, you know, we, we get a lot of requests and um, we take those very seriously. We prioritize them and we've had customer advisory boards set up such that we'll bring in customers and we'll say, all right, here's maybe the top 20 features that have been requested. Let's vote on them and let's get them on the roadmap and let's get them into development. So some of these that are on our roadmap right now are, f are the following. First off, um, if you look at what order management gives you, it gives you a lot of capabilities. And one of those capabilities is to be able to uh, order items based on rules. Those rules could be customer uh, address, um, whatever. Uh, basically, you know, uh, customer A and customer B uh, can purchase different products but can't overlap. And um, order management has this capability. And uh, a number of our customers voted highly on this. And they said it'd be very nice to be able to screen out certain products such that I don't have to see them and order them and then at the end say, oh, by the way, they're not available. We can do this real-time check as you're adding products to your shopping cart and as you're going through the checkout process. Um, so this is just one of the many features that uh, we're looking to do uh, post R12.2. Um, another feature that we're looking to put into place um, are web services. And the reason why is um, a lot of customers say, well, the out-of-the-box um, user interface that you give me with iStore is great. However, I want to plug and play my own front end to the interface, maybe using Apex uh, or uh, a different type of uh, UI. And if we develop the web services to handle that, uh, what we can do is we can unplug the, um, the screens that we have with iStore, allow customers to plug in their own screens, yet keep all of the plumbing and the transactions running in the back end. And web services will allow us to do this. And there's another reason why we want to do web services. And it's to be able to change out that interface, yet keep the underpinning uh, transaction layer uh, and put a mobile front end on top of the iStore. Um, so we're looking to do uh, an iPhone application uh, based on HTML5, and what it would be is a, a reference application that we would give to our customers free of charge, and they can run with it uh, as is, or they can extend it, uh, yet called web services that we need to put into place for the infrastructure. So again, uh, the mobile e-commerce piece uh, really extends the life of uh, iStore for people who are on the go with their mobile devices. 
Um, and last but not least is um, Oracle inquire, acquired a company called Indeca about a year or two, several years ago probably. And most of the EBS modules are uptaking uh, a lot of the analytic capabilities of Indeca. And uh, not only does Indeca give you analytic capabilities, but it has a very robust search engine. And if you've ever used the search engine within uh, Oracle uh, in 11.5.10 or R12, um, it leaves some things to be desired. It's, it's not the most intuitive interface. So what uh, we heard from our customers is, hey, why can't we leverage Indeca, use their search engine, and be able to have a very nice front end that allows me to uh, do guided navigation, uh, be able to focus and hone in on the products that I want to purchase, uh, do type ahead searches, um, to really uh, make the interface for searching the product catalog much more robust. And so we are currently working on this uh, on, on our roadmap today. And um, we're fa fairly uh, far along with it. Um, there's some UI uh, things that we've asked the Indeca folks for that we're waiting for that will actually really um, streamline the ability to uh, search for products, uh, filter the products, and put them into your shopping cart. So again, we're focusing on the user interface to make it much more streamlined than it had been before in 11.5.10. So that's a, a summary of what we've been doing with iStore, where we're going with it, what we have planned for it. Uh, we continue to invest uh, quite heavily in iStore. We have a huge customer install base, and we continue to win uh, quite a bit of deals. And it's for many of the, f the things that I mentioned earlier in this presentation. The integrations are very key. Um, the cost of ownership is, uh, is, is lowered. Um, and we listen to our customers. For instance, uh, for additional resources, um, you can go and track enhancements now through My Oracle support. Um, most products in the EBS suite uh, have opened up um, a portal such that uh, rather than having to fly out for a cab or a customer advisory board, you're able to online uh, look at what we have on the drawing board for iStore, uh, as well as other uh, products such as uh, quoting and proposals, and to be able to vote on the type of enhancements uh, that you believe your customers could really utilize and benefit from when you purchase and use iStore. And lastly, uh, we have more information on the entire suite of 12.2 for uh, the EBS modules, including iStore. Um, you can go to um, My Oracle Support and look at this particular document reference. And what that will do is it will give you a list of all of the new features, not only for the EBS products, but for iStore in particular. And it will outline m probably everything that I've covered here, plus more. Um, it's very difficult in the short time frame that we have to show you all the new features that are available in R12. So if you're coming from 11.5.10, you may want to take a look at this document and see uh, what you can uptake as you migrate um, your application and, and your iStore customers from 11.5.10 to R12. So I'd like to thank you for joining me. Um, and uh, again, please visit our website. Uh, visit uh, our uh, document source, and I want to thank you for um, sharing this time to see what's new with iStore and being able to uptake a lot of the new features that we've enhanced the product with. Thank you.